All right, Barb. Yes, what do I have here? Well, I think you got a northern pike. It's not a walleye. Just keep the pressure on. Okay. Notice the little rod that Barbie's using. It's an ultralight. Oh my yeah, goodness. Yeah, let him go. If he wants to go, let him go. It'd be oh. nice if this fish was big enough oh. to use the cradle. I think it is. I saw okay. him. Okay, just take your time. Yeah. You can get the cradle ready. You know what? Maybe I'll just use the glove. Oh, really? Yeah. He's not, the cradle is great for fish that are like 38, 40 inches. This guy, he's nice to get on a jig. Yeah. You know what I think he was doing? He was looking for the walleye, just was like we he were. Really? Yeah. Oh. oh. Guess what? I dropped him. Okay, a little closer. You're doing great, hon. Guess you could tell right away it wasn't a walleye, the way it was fighting. See if you can turn him this way to the right. Good. A little more. You know when you can't get your hands around the fish that uh, they're getting to be a good size. This guy's pretty thick. That's one nice thing about these Kasagami Northerns. They're very healthy. They've got lots of food and the lake is so big and shallow. Now he might fly it on my hands because I'm just suspending him over the water. What a pretty fish, eh? Barb to get. Beautiful. Fishing for walleye with an ultralight. Yeah. There he goes. What, what we've been doing, because it's windy, we've been working this point. It's called Pickerel Point. You can actually see the Javix bottles that are just off the tip. And there's a few other boats working the area. It's kind of a sure thing to get some walleye for shore lunch. So we've gone with the lighter rods and we're just using some twisters and spinners. And the wind is so strong that we tried anchoring, but it hasn't been working. So what we got to do is run up try to cast close to the rocks and then we just drift back and usually we've been getting one to two walleye and now that nice pike so we're going to go back up there okay hun okay good. well done when it comes to northern pike fishing spoons are number one but i'll tell you what spinners catch their share of big pike and for those of you that musky fish you know that bucktail spinners are very effective to use for large musky and for pike what i'm holding up here is a vibrex spinner this particular one is the number six and it's your traditional spinner and it has a very large single hook barbless one with the twister tail grub so this spinner would be ideal to cast along the edges of weeds off of points shoals bars when pike are feeding in open water, because you couldn't really fish this in heavy vegetation, so only on the edges. So this traditional spinner catches a lot of fish, but I want to show you a variety of spinners that are made by Lucky Strike that are very light. Actually, what I'm holding up here is actually one of the selection of spinners that Lucky Strike Canada make. And this particular spinner can be used as a small gang troll, where you put a piece of monofilament line at the end of the spinners, and then a single hook with a worm, or maybe another lure like a rapala. So these would be used as attractors. But for northern pike and for muskie, these three blades spinning together either look like the flash from one large fish like a whitefish, or a school of small fish. And then at the end of that, I have a single hook with a white twister tail. Again, you can see that the hook is barbless because here at Kasagami, they have a policy of only anglers using single barbless hooks, okay? So the advantage of using these three inline spinners like this is it produces a lot of flash and they're also very lightweight, so they won't stick down into the weeds. Now, here's a few different sizes and colors, okay? So I had very good luck using more of the Colorado blade, like the chartreuse one that's here. And you can see that there's a very simple mechanism, a snap that opens, so you can change. If you were fishing somewhere where you could use a treble hook, you might want to put a treble hook on here that has some bucktail on it, for example, for muskie or for pike, or you could just put a single hook like I was using with the twister. These other ones have the spring mechanism where you move the spring up and it shows you the wire. So you can put the hook right on the wire and then put the spring back on it. So this particular one is more of a pearl color, looking like a whitefish, and this is silver one. So these are very inexpensive. They're very lightweight, and they're ideal to use, especially in shallow water where you need a lot of flash to attract some of the bigger game fish. And if you have these with you, especially if you're going up north, doesn't matter whether you're fishing for lake trout in the Northwest Territories or for big monster pike here at Kasagami. If you have a selection of these and some Lucky Strike spoons, you're gonna catch a lot of fish.
You know, the one thing here at Kasagami, the walleye and pike are mixed in everywhere. And I just want to show you, this isn't a big walleye, it's actually going to be a lunch fish for today, but I want to show you what it hit. Look at this. Most of you probably don't use a rig like this when you're fishing. This is actually a small gang troll. It's made by Lucky Strike, but it's ideal for casting for large pike because it produces so much flash. And uh, that walleye is probably about 14 inches long, and he's actually a good eating size fish. So we're going to be keeping it. But I got a feeling that a lot of the big pike, if they're not in the deep bays like there is to the right where we were just fishing, are off the points. And here at Kasagami, the guides do a really good job of marking all the rock piles. So you can see there's a white bottle behind me. There's actually three of them in a row. So these bottles mark all the danger spots, the rocks. And we're purposely casting weedless spoons in this little gang troll, Lucky Strike one, right over the rocks. And we know that the walleyes are feeding in there because we're looking for the pike that are feeding on these walleye. So this is going to taste good in a few hours. Fisher girl! Catch a passion! This is a lure that's meant to look like an injured fish in the water and when you cast it you can jerk it a few times and it'll just flutter up and the fish will bite it and because they think it's an injured fish. It doesn't rattle, it's made out of balsa wood so it's very light, it'll only run about five feet deep. It sounds like a perfect lure to use if you're shore casting or even fishing like around weed beds out in open water. And if there's a big fish around, like a trophy fish, because this lure is about 10 centimeters long, it's probably gonna go for it.